in the Brave by Joanna Banks. When America had an urgent need, these brave ones raised a hand. No hesitation held them back. They were proud to take a stand. They left their family and their friends. They gave up normal life to serve their country and their God. They plowed into the strife. They fought for freedom and for peace on strange and foreign shores. Some lost new friends, some lost, some lost their lives in long and brutal wars. Other veterans answered the call to support the ones who fought. Their country had requirements for the essential skills they brought. We salute every one of them, the noble and the brave, the ones still with us here today and those who rest in the grave. including a deployment to Iraq in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, and here at home, helping with natural disasters and civil unrest. When I'm not working in the field, I work full-time at the Missouri National Guard headquarters in Jefferson City, Missouri, as a ground equipment inspector, making sure all the tactical equipment is prepared for the next mission. During my time in the military, I have learned many valuable lessons integrity, trust, respect, and the importance of my faith in Jesus Christ, to name a few. Service in the military requires selfless service, maintaining an attitude to go and do so others don't have to. The National Guard is not just about being a soldier. It's about being a part of the community and stepping up when the world around us needs help. Though some values are some Though some same, same values are something you can practice every day, even as a student. Working in the military field does require many sacrifices. One sacrifice is time and participation in important activities and events with family and friends. Another sacrifice is comfort and connectivity to daily life patterns and routines when we are called to serve at a moment's notice. It requires routine self discipline and exercise and lifestyle to remain physically and mentally resilient, especially for times where spontaneous flexibility is needed. Family teamwork and support are vital for any soldier to be able to perform his duties in full. This often means being prepared at all times with emergency lists and services and help for those who are at home front when the soldier has been called away. So today, remember, not just the service men and women, but their families they leave behind. Veterans Day is not just about remembering those who wear the uniform. It's about reflecting on what it means to serve and how we can all contribute to our communities, no matter our age. Whether that's being a good friend, helping someone in need, or simply treating the people around us, how we want to be treated. You can make a difference. <coughs> Service isn't just something reserved for adults or people in uniform. It's a way of life that we each get the opportunity to choose to live each day. Today, I encourage you to think about how you can serve your community. Better than serve their country, but we can all serve in our own way. We can serve by showing kindness and compassion to those around us. In this way, we honor the spirit of Veterans Day.
Oh